Hey Assassins, welcome to today's video. So as you would have known from your in-game mail and posts on the forum that Malik is joining the Rebellion. So he's going to be a brand new obtainable hero in the game. He's going to make his debut in the Eagle Shadow. So that will be obviously the progression and milestone rewards. So we're going to basically just take a look at the heroes, see how he'll fit into the game, see what benefits he'll have being on your team. And we're just going to just do a little bit of a dive into the hero. Um, this is obviously a road to the thousand subscribers, so if you are new, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and let's get into the video. As we look here, Malik is here. He is, yeah, he looks awesome. To be fair to the artwork, it's really nice. Um, this obviously bit here is um, wrong. He's not a support hero. They've got the artwork wrong. Should have been proofread before it was released, but. Yeah, it was just missed. So he is Epic Rarity, which is nice. It makes a change from having just constant legendaries in the game. Class, specific, uh, Specialist, and he's a healer. So quite a unique little uh, mix-up there of like Assassin Stroke Healer. So I'm not going to read his bio because there are so many words in here that I probably can't pronounce. I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, so right, roll info. A skilled assassin in his own right, Malik is an expert in the art of... The Assassin's Brotherhood and has adapted to some uh, to suit his particular needs. He has risen in rank due to his amputation. Ma Malik has gained knowledge of medical charge and is able to stanch his allied wounds. That means stop bleeding. I had to Google that. Um, never heard that saying before. But yeah, it means with whatever he can find, he will stop the bleeding. So... Uh, Malik simply uh, presents in a team as to much confidence of its other members to ensure some measures of success no matter the difficulty of assassination. So his skills are assassination expert, combat medic and free runner adapt. adapt. So he's got a little bit of getting around the map. Um, I don't think he'll be able to obviously leap a faith and use zip wires but he will at least be able to just give you that few like that little bit of a free runner check when making a jump off a ledge and things like that so it's nice you know you can get around the map in a fairly decent way assassination expert obviously you'd be able to assassinate um and the combat medic obviously healing your heroes on the go so yeah that's that's quite nice makes him a bit different his skills sound awesome um to uh it's a knee combo a two hit combo that deals damage increases the enemy's mischance and collateral damage Allies gain a boost to lethal to city. So he's coming obviously on a night for Marsh in the Eagle Shadow. Um, on paper, the hero looks absolutely like he looks really fun. He looks like something a bit different in the game, something quite nice. But yet again, they've just just made a, an awesome sounding hero when he gets into the game. In eventuality, he's going to be extremely tough to play. And the reasons for this is the fact that he's a healer uses a hidden blade there's no tier 5 um hidden blade for a healer in the game um he will obviously rely on his dexterity i mean not dexterity agility and lethal -ticity. he can't equip a pair of boots that help him with that so he has got nothing in t5 gear wise that will boost anything that he needs um they should have just made him an assassin they should have just kept him exactly as he, as he was but made him an assassin that way we could have equipped him with a hidden blade, could have equipped him with the greaves and let him obviously get around the map a little bit better and obviously equip the armour. So he would have just been made already for like T5 gear. But instead they've gone down the route of making him a healer. Um, and yeah, we've just not got anything to actually put on the hero when we do get him five star. Um, they obviously can introduce specific items for him. But he's going to need at least two. At least two. Um, he can equip a T5 armor. Doesn't do anything for his lethal ticity or agility. So I don't know how that will benefit him. It will make him more tanky. Give him a little bit more of an increased dodge. But, you know, they've, they've got an assassin here. So at least his lethal ticity is through the roof. And it doesn't need that much of a buff. He's not really going to be able to assassinate much at top level content because he's just not going to have the boosts from the gear that he needs. So this is just something where I think they really do need to take a look at the gear system. I think it would be better if they could just make us basically like custom gear. So you could pick four abilities on a or five abilities on a certain specific weapon or armor and then just equip it to that hero. So you can kind of build the hero the way you want to play him 
But, yeah, I mean, I'm still excited. I'm still looking forward to playing him. But, you know, he's going to have to have a T4 weapon that barely does any damage. Um, as I said, he can with the armor, but then his lethal ticity and agility will suffer. And, uh, yeah, you're going to have to equip T4 boots on him if you want to increase a little bit of lethal ticity or agility around the map because the pouch isn't going to do that. So, yeah, they've. I think... In a long time, this is one of the best heroes I've seen on paper that they've brought out. Um, generally, really looking forward to playing him. He looks just a little bit different. He's got some nice skills. Uh, as I said, an assassin that can heal. Not got that in the game. I, you know, I, I like it. I really do like the look of him. But due to the fact that like you're barely going to be able to equip any T5 gear on him, just makes it... It's just take the enjoyment out of it, really. So, like, oh, I can't wait to get him five-starred. I'll wait there. I can't equip anything on him. So, yeah, I think they've massively missed the mark there. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section about the hero. As I said, I am looking forward to him coming, but there are obviously a few glaring mistakes, I think, when it comes to, uh, yeah, being able to equip him with gear. But I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, Assassins. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.